fish signs as Yamashi to treasure markers. It's already been some time when someone has requested me to discuss, how to interpret the meanings of fish signs as Yamashi to treasure markers. But due to some reasons, it took some time for me to finally discuss it on this video. Before we start with the discussion about fish signs, I would like to ask you about the first thing that comes into your own mind, when talking about fish. Isn't it that there are two possible things that immediately come into your mind? First, is food. And second, fishes are creatures that live and thrive in the water. Let's first discuss the part, which is the fish viewed as food. Surely, you probably have already tasted different cooked fishes, unless you are allergic to them. But what exactly is the relation of this to the fish sign marker? You have to know, that any markers that bear the shape of anything, that are edible for human consumption, actually represents the hidden treasure deposit. So aside from the fish, other common markers include pigs, carabos, turtles, frogs, and etc. All these kinds of markers confirm that the treasure deposit is hidden on the site. As for the second part, wherein fishes are creatures that can only live and thrive on water areas, the relationship to the marker is that it symbolizes the location of the deposit site. This means that the site is on water areas. In most common cases, this could be an area such as old creeks, rivers, or waterfalls. To make everything short, the common meaning of a certain fish sign means, that the treasure deposit is hidden on sites with water. But you may ask, is the treasure deposit under the water? The answer to this question can be yes, or no, because it really depends on the marker, along with the other additional markers around the site. We can have a better explanation by discussing some of the fish sign markers. Fish sign markers can be compared to the arrow sign markers. The head of the fish symbol is the arrowhead, where it is pointing into a certain direction. But only the difference between them is that, fish sign markers often refers to a direction towards a water area. I have already mentioned a while back, that such sites include old creeks, rivers, deep well, or waterfalls. This is one of the fish signs, that were commonly used by the Japanese, Imperial Army, as markers to their hidden Yamashita treasures. If this is the type of marker that you found on your site, what you have to do, is simply follow its direction, until you arrive at a certain location with an area of water. As an example, let's say that you followed the direction indicated by the fish sign marker, until you arrived at a site with an old creek. At this place, what you need to do next is to check the entire area for any additional markers around. It's because through these markers, they will help you determine the exact buried spot of the hidden item. What if this is the type of fish sign marker that you have found in your site? Unlike the previous sign, this one isn't straight but it has a curved body. If it happens that this is the type of fish sign marker that you discovered on your site, then you should be thankful because it actually offers detailed information. The main reason why it has a curved body is that this has something to do to the site itself. Let's say for example that you found this kind of fish sign marker on your site. And just like the other previous marker, you followed its direction until you came across an old creek. The curve body of the fish sign represents the part of the old creek, where it is a curve portion. At this curve portion, this is actually where the item is hidden. But the question is, 
At which exact spot is the item hidden? This is actually why some fish signs do have additional symbols, particularly dots that are on the sides, similar to what you are seeing in this illustration. If the fish sign marker that you have found, really, does not have any dot around it, then it is commonly assumed that the item is at the outside portion of the curve. But in order to have better confirmation, you have to examine both opposite sides of the curve for any additional markers. The side with the marker should confirm the correct side of your digging spot. In this next fish sign marker, you will notice that it is pointing at a downward direction. Does this sign still symbolize a site with water area? As an example, let's say that in the hole that you have been digging, you suddenly discovered this type of fish sign, engraved onto the surface of a rock. Since it is pointing at a downward direction, it actually has a good meaning. It means that you simply have to continue digging at a downward direction, leading you into the location of the item. Aside from being able to confirm the treasure deposit, this sign also gives warning about a trap, that is lying down ahead. If you do not know how to deal with this trap, then you will most likely fail to recover the item. If you have been following my videos, then you are probably aware, about the trap that I am trying to talk about. But for the sake of those who do not, then this is actually the water trap. I already covered this topic in my previous videos, so I assume that it needs no further explanation. In some cases, you may encounter markers that consist of two or more fish symbols. Interpreting them can be quite complicated to explain, because, their arrangements, can deeply influence their meanings. This is one of the fish sign markers, that is composed of more than one fish symbol. You will notice that this marker has two fish symbols, and their heads meet together on one spot. In order to explain its meaning, I would like to repeat what I had stated a while back, where fish sign markers can be compared to arrow sign markers. For this reason, this is probably the version that came across your mind. However, this fish sign marker is more closely similar to a narrow head. The good thing about this particular marker is that, it is actually pointing into the exact location of the treasure deposit, or its digging spot. But the bad side of this marker is that, it also confirms that the item is under the water. You need to be aware, that a certain fish sign marker that is composed of more than one fish symbol, has a high possibility that the item is under the water, 